Volcanoes, Volcanic Activity. The temperatures that develop mainly in the dry fumes when they are trapped and ignited in the subsoil are very high. Any form of fire or lava from the subsoil is due to this phenomenon as the flame of vaporization burns materials from the subsoil according to its composition and alters its texture. If conditions permit, this entire mass of gases is released first followed by a mixture with molten subsoil materials which were melted by the explosion of the trap dry fumigation gas under pressure in the subsoil in the space it occupied. In other words, lava does not exist everywhere under the subsoil. It is simply created in places and at times in candidate parts of the subsoil that meet the conditions of accumulation compression and saturation of dry vapors from the ground or from the surface of the earth. Air is a thin fluid element and escapes more easily. After the initial expansion of the compressed flammable gas passing through anode passages to the surface, the decompression of the molten solid elements that used to heat turned into a liquid, what we call lava, follows. The composition of the lava has to do with the elements of the subsoil in question. Some places accumulate for a very long time many more chances for the conditions for the concentration of flammable gases to occur in their subsoil due to its geological form, its composition, the geographical position of the point, gas currents and atmospheric pressures in the area, etc. Those are places where volcanoes were created and are still being created. No lithospheric plates. According to what we saw in the chapter of Pangaea and also in the chapter of earthquakes and volcanoes, tectonic plates do not exist. Pangaea did not move and is Terra Vista. About 12,000 years ago, it was a single huge continent with all kinds of climates. The ground of the Earth is stable and uniform, without lava from underground, except the places that the lava created as we saw. The changes that occur are from floods and earthquakes, landslides and the rise or fall of the sea level and all that these phenomena bring with them. Earthquakes, as we said, are caused by the underground cycle of dry or wet vapors. The points where they are marked as boundaries of the lithospheric plates and are candidate places for earthquakes are nothing more than subterranean zones of the subsoil where there are large cavities and also their climate and geographical position readily permit the inflow and great accumulation of dry and moist vapors inside them. Moon and weather predictions Let us mention here that these changes in atmospheric pressure each time cause a different predisposition of the vapors inside the Earth, which is recorded in the image of the Moon each time as we observe it. On the one hand, it is the temperature and the dryness or humidity of the atmosphere that affects this event, but it is also the predisposition of the subterranean vapors, dry or wet, that contribute to the final image of the Moon in terms of color shade. We have observed summer full moons to be more reddish and yellowish, 
while winter ones are whiter or towards blue. The spectrum of visible frequencies goes towards the red when dry vapors predominate, causing winds, draw and heat. When wet prevails, blues and purples prevail, which are combined with precipitation and humidity with lower temperatures. When we have frost, none prevails and so the moon appears brighter and whiter. So we understand that by looking at this thing, we can make weather prediction for the upcoming weather by predicting rainy weather, humidity, winds, drought, cold, heat.